think if it's an exploration project, you can get a better spot. Hi, I'm Brian McEwen. I'm the uh, Vice President of Exploration and Development for Golden Arrow Resources. One of the things that uh, got us very interested in, in looking at, uh, at this project in, in this area was the, the similarities that we have here as we did when we developed our Chinchillas project and that comes down to closeology. And, um, in Chinchillas we, we saw an opportunity there by developing the project which was very close to uh, SSR Mining's uh, Perkitis Mine and, and here we've got a project that sits between a mine that's about to be developed at Santo Domingo and an existing mine, Mantle Verde, on the other side. So we're, we're right in the middle of, uh, you know, like I keep saying, the jelly and the donut here for uh, an opportunity to go after. The San Pietro project is, is huge. We're looking at 185 square kilometers and we've already applied for a lot of the other concessions around and, and within. And, and traveling around the, the property, you can see that there's a lot of a lot of different targets that we can go after. The property, I was quite surprised yesterday when we came on the, on the project, we're right, basically we're on the road uh, and right overhead is, uh, is, is the power line, we're six kilometers from town. So it's, I don't think if it's an exploration project, you can get a better spot. The property itself has already got 35,000 meters of drilling. Um, you know, all of the you know, opportunity is there for us to follow up on now. Uh, we have a we have an incredible team. We have the team that was all part of the success at, at Chinchillas. Uh, so 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 they're they're here. We've hired a new team here in, in Chile with a lot of experience working in IOCG type deposits. Uh, you know we're, we're we're joined by Dave Terry, or, or one of our directors, and, and the rest of the group down here. It's it's a, an excellent team, an excellent time to get together and uh, share ideas on, on the best way to approach this. All of the different uh, zones that we've seen at San Pietro uh, all have potential and uh, we're, we're in between uh, two significant uh, deposits of similar style so uh, we know what we're looking for and uh, just have to do the work. We're looking at you know, cobalt, we're looking at a lot of high grade iron, uh, of course copper and, and, and gold and uh, we're dealing with structures, we're dealing with breaches. Um, you know the opportunities here for for Finding something are, I think, very, very good. My name is uh, Hugo Carranza. I'm, I'm a chief geologist of uh, Golden Arrow, and here we are looking at some core of uh, San Pietro. And the nice uh, sweet thing here of, of San Pietro are, are these uh, uh, magnetite mantles of something like 20, 30 meters wide. There are several of these. Well, here we can see the, the specularite. The specularite. You can see a lot of pyrite, some calcopyrite here, disseminated in the magnetite. You can see that you can recognize the magnetite by the by the weight of the core. Of course, about uh, also about uh, also with the magnetism. No? Here we can see in the in the volcanics that are hosting the the mineralization of San Pietro, um, the, the, the the intense uh, potassium alteration that, that we have here uh, and and. And this is uh, important because the potassium alteration is always uh, uh, makes a big halo around the copper deposit. Um, all these uh, signatures that we saw here, the, the alteration and the mineralogy that we see here in these uh, magnetite mantles and the specular and the breaches with the specularite are very important because there's several uh, of IOCC deposits in, in northern Chile that, that carry these same uh, signatures. You know? so, so, most of the, the deposits of IOCC are, are, are similar to what we are looking now in San Pietro. There's the Rincones areas, which is you know a lot of potential there to see the, the spacing between the drill holes and the, and the intersections that we know we've had there. And they're also getting some very high cobalt in those things. Here we're looking at the at core, the hole number two in, in, in Kosha Target, that, that it's very spectacular because here we are looking at, a, at an intercept of uh, 1,000 ppm of cobalt uh, with low copper and, and, and iron, but the, the, as always the, the cobalt is associated with the pyrite and uh, within um, an specularite breccia. So the, this is a 30-40 meters wide interval with, with high cobalt, that is one of the targets that we want to follow up. I think when, when looking at you know why the other companies would have left this project and, and why it was available to, to us is that uh, 
you know, it was looked at at a different time. It was viewed as a mostly as a as a, as a copper project, and you know, I, I, there were some considerations of, of cobalt that we know that now, but the prices were so low that they were incidental. There wasn't the same in infrastructure around here. Um, so I think that uh, right now the timing is perfect to follow up on a project like this.